Is between is a super convenient function that returns either true or false if a number is between something else. So value to compare, that's going to be the test number, comma, and then lower value is going to be this one, comma, and then upper value is going to be the high. And then we can close our brackets because the other two are in square brackets, which means they're optional. So we'll look at those still. It will give you this. This is pretty cool. So you can control enter to fill that in. As you can see, 142 is not between these, but 91 is between these. That's what's going on there. But what about this one where I've got 332 is the test number and it's the high as well. So if I look at the last two inputs where I have lower value and upper value is inclusive. So if I press comma to leave the first one blank, upper value is inclusive. I'm going to say false. Close my brackets and now it's going to be false because now 332 is not less than that one. So that's what it's doing there. If I, if you're in Excel, then equals is B only returns as blank. So is between is not there. Neither is is date or is URL or is email. So if you want the is between, what you have to do is you have to say and, and then you have to say uh, this one is greater than the minimum, the low, and this one is smaller than or equal to the high. That's how you can get the um, inclusive or, or exclusive and then close your brackets. And then you get the same results, but honestly, it's so much nicer if you have the is between, I think. This also works with dates. So equals is between. Then value to compare, I'm gonna do the test date, comma, and then I'm going to do the start date and the end date. So dates are usually just numbers in Google Sheets. But there is one exception that we'll get to with the isDate function, which is also different. So here, this is treated as text. Um, this is still treated as a number because if I change the number format to that, it will work. Same as this one. But these are saying true and sometimes they're saying false if it's not dependent on that. So let's try this other one, which is really cool. So isDate, and then I can just do this one. There's just a value to put in. That's it, true and false. I've made forces always come out in red, so it's easier to see in this video using conditional formatting under here. Uh, I have another video on that if you're interested in it. By the way, you can get access to this file. The link is in the description below. So here I have false because this is text. This is not a date value. So if I did, for example, equals this one plus four, this will not show me a value. It'll show me an error because the, the TH and there's no year, etc. This one is showing me false, even though it's showing me true here. Now, with this feature, it actually detects the number format. So if I go to format for this one, and I choose a number, and then I choose one of these date formats, whichever one it is, it doesn't really matter. I'll go with this one because I find this clearer. Now it's changed this one to true. So this is actually testing the number format, which is different. And these two don't appear in Excel, only in Google Sheets. So is number is kind of going to test this one. And whether it's showing me as a date or whether it's showing me as an original number, it doesn't matter because it is held as a number. Whereas is date is showing me true uh, only if it's something that is a valid text thing, not a valid text thing, and also if it's formatted as a number. So there are some other is functions as well that are in Excel here, like is blank, is error, uh, is error, different types of errors. Um, these mostly just have one input. But the two that are different to Google is equals is URL, which ch checks if something's a valid URL, and is email. Um, is email will need the at symbol, which is not here, that's why it's there, and it will need .org or .net or something like that, or .co.uk. So um, it doesn't necessarily try and email or go to that website. It just checks whether it is something that's there. And it's not an exhaustive list. There is more information here. So it will return uh, true in com org net edu gov info or in two letter country or region domains. Uh, there could be ones that are outside of this that will still return false, even though they are actually accurate. But I really like those is between and is date. I think they're really, really useful and only in Google Sheets. Great. So if you like this video, my name is David and I have tons of videos on Google Sheets, Excel, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech in the Workplace, then I'm covering on my channel. So subscribe if you like this kind of content. Thanks for watching.